Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to download and install font types from thefont.com. So the first thing we need to do is to go to this website. I will Google it to show you how to get there. It's just the font. So that's the first hit you have here, thefont.com. Okay, right now it is in Spanish. If you want, you may change it to English here. Okay, you have instructions about how to install a font. Uh, for example, Windows, Mac, and there are other operating systems. For example, right now I'm working on a Linux computer. There are different categories here or you can use a general search term if you're looking for something in particular. Um, for example, uh, I know a good font type called Agent Orange. So, if you click there, you have it, that's uh, what it looks like. If uh, that's a, a font I want, then uh, I will click on Download I'm going to save the file. I will look for it. That's downloads. Okay, so the the fonts are downloaded in zip packages. So you need to f first you need to unzip the package. So I'm going to right click and extract here. This is going to look different on your computer depending on the Packer program you have. So this will create a folder called Agent Orange. So it's here. So if I open it, I'll see, well, it has a TXT file and a TTF file. The TTF file is what we need. Uh, depending on the font, sometimes you may find two or more files with a TTF extension. Those are variations of the font, uh, for example, a boldface or italics. In this case, there's just a single version. So, for example, for Windows, if, if you right-click on it, you can look for the button called Install and install it right away. Or you can double-click on it and you will see a, a sample of what this font looks like. If, uh, if it looks like something you want to use in a handout or a teaching material, then just uh, click on Install. In this case, it's already installed to my computer. That's why uh, the button is not available. Then if I open a, a, tex a text document or a, a, a presentation, I can look for Agent Orange among the options. Uh, let me look for a document here. Try. I'm using LibreOffice. Okay, if I look for the font, it's going to be here. See, Agent Orange. And then I can just start typing the text uh, I need and use this font. Uh, something important to bear in mind is that this is a particular font and it is, it is only installed to my computer. So if I want to print this um, elsewhere, and the file is going to look disconfigured. So uh, my recommendation is to save the file as a PDF or, for example, if, if it's uh, something you're, uh, you're going to be showing from your computer, like a PowerPoint presentation, there's no problem. But if, if it's something you're going to print and it's not at home, then save it as a PDF so that the file, the, the special fonts, are not disconfigured. Uh, something additional to consider is that, that you should not install too many fonts to your computer, because the more fonts you install, the slower your computer will become. So uh, only install those that you really think uh, are useful for you. Because each time you open programs like Word or Adobe Reader, all the fonts that are installed to your computer uh, will be loaded. So just uh, be, be, be selective in that regard. I hope you find this website useful in the design of your teaching materials.